Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to share with you my mid-year no-buy update. So far, it's been going pretty good. I haven't really been tempted to buy a lot of makeup. Um, I did buy some makeup, but they're all replacements. Um, I've been checking the trend mood. Nothing's really been that appealing to me. Um, so, much, so much that I had to like break my no-buy. Everything was like, oh yeah, I like it, but I'm not gonna break my no-buy for it. Or it was like, oh, psst, no. <laughs> this totally does not suit me or my makeup style. So, so far I've not been tempted to break my no-buy. I've bought within my rules. Well, basically within my rules. I don't know, I don't think, I'm not sure if backups were allowed, but there's a certain circumstance to those backups. But I'll get into that here shortly. So, speaking of backups, this is the second backup from when I purchased my original Lash Brew Serum. I purchased two of these as well. This is the second one of those backups. So I'm already into my second backup. So when I had to buy another serum, I bought two more of these. I'm not wearing makeup every single day, so I don't need to use this every single night. Um, I am wearing makeup uh, probably four out of seven days a week, which, you know, and you don't need a lot of this to go, a little goes a long way. So one of these pretty much lasts me about two, three months. So this one is pretty much full. It's got a few little dips in there. So I don't think I'll, be, I'll have to go into one of these backups until probably beginning of August, possibly. <clears throat> and then the other thing I purchased with those two is my AOA Pro Lash Boost Serum. Um, this is like, what was it, $13 or something like that, which most lash serums are like $75, $80. Do I, Notice the difference? Yeah, I actually kind of do. Um, so I'm gonna keep using this. Well, it, is it my oh holy grail? Well, I can't really say that because I haven't tried any other lash boost serums. But I'm also not willing to spend that kind of money when I can get one for thirteen dollars. Um, I am possibly interested. I think Elf has one. Um, I'm possibly interested in trying that one to see if they're you know how um i think they're pretty equal in price too they're not i don't think the elf is much more or much less expensive than this one so um i'd be interested in trying the elf but for now i like this one we'll repurchase it and now the circumstance of why i had to buy that many backups of my cleansing balm is shop Masse doesn't have the best shipping times to canada um, it can take a good month before something gets here uh, from Shop Miss A, so I didn't want to be running out and then having to wait um, a whole month or more to before I got it, so that's why I bought multiple backups of the cleansing balm. I did also buy two, uh, two of these little lap primers from Estee Lauder. Um, I love these as a I don't actually use it as a primer, I actually use it as the last layer in my in my mascara game. Um, I learned from Emily Noel that it actually keeps other mascaras from flaking into your eyes. Um, although the reason I had to replace it is because it was starting to flake in my eyes, ironically. Um, so I knew it was dry, it was time to, time to replace it. So basically what I'll use is I'll use my Lash Boost, Volume Boost from Essence whatever current mascara I happen to be using, which happens to be Lash Princess by Essence. And then I'll put this on last, and I'll put it on my lower lashes, because this is the only one I'll use as a lower lash mascara because the wand is nice and small. So it's not uber big. and doesn't get a whole bunch of mascara under my lashes. <clears throat> so like I said, I haven't been overly tempted by new makeup coming out. I've either looked at it and said, yes, it's nice, but I can wait until my no-buy, 
or I've been like, no, <laughs> that does not suit me at all. So, so I've actually enjoyed not getting a lot of packages, which I'm finding quite surprising. I thought I would miss getting, uh, but I kind of like, I don't miss having to be around to wait for a package to arrive. That I definitely do not miss, uh, for sure. So there's a certain freedom with not having a lot of packages being delivered. So you don't uh, have to be here to, to sign for them or receive them. So that I definitely did not miss, have not missed um, during these six months. How do I think the next six months is gonna go? Boringly enough, as good as the first. <laughs> I was not even interested in the, well, we don't even have the Ulta 21 days of sale here in Canada, but I wasn't even interested in, in the VIB sale in from so Sephora because I'm no longer a VIB Rouge, so I only get 10%. I'm only an insider. Um, so 10% covers, barely covers the GST here in Canada. So it's not a thrilling sale for me. Makeup brands themselves have better deals than Sephora does. So it, yeah. Savora VIB sale doesn't lure me anymore. So when I was VIB Rouge and it could at least save 20%, well, yeah, that was a little different story, but no, not interested in 10%. That's like, meh. <laughs> it's like, well, okay, if I need the item, then yeah. But I'm not just gonna go out and buy a bunch of stuff and I only get 10% off. Who cares? So anyways, that is my mid-year no-buy update. Sorry, I couldn't make it more exciting with having all these temptations, but I'm just, I have a lot of makeup, so you have to be really special to tempt me now. Thanks for watching, have a great day.